HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS. Um, and what I wanted to demonstrate here is that you don't always have to have your entire layout be the web viewer. Kind of a misconception. Some of the real strength of integrating HTML5, JavaScript, or CSS into your layouts is that you can do it subtly so that the users don't know which part is FileMaker or which part is uh, the interactive uh, web technologies. Um, so you can see here on the left hand side, and, and by the way, this is a uh, proof of concept piece. This is a, a, a demo that we put together um, for a discussion with a, a client who's already got a FileMaker database. So it shows again how you can take existing FileMaker databases and add this type of functionality onto it. And what you see here on the left hand side are, um, it's a FileMaker layout with a bunch of fields defined and um, they're all fields that are supposed to make a catalog page. And this is a preview of what the catalog page would look like. There are some images that are stored in containers that of course can be uh, dropped into an HTML5 canvas using the uh, XML uh, container link that I've shown in previous videos. And uh, some portals that show these things that are called callouts. In this case, a callout is, uh, you see here, this, this number one, body, water resistant, double coated, fabric cost, blah, 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 blah. That's something that on the catalog or the published catalog um, page or even web page, they're going to want to have a, no, a little number one button near the part of the product that this thing is describing. And then down below, you'll see, oh, it's like a legend. Oh, number one goes to this number one, which talks about fabric. Number two goes to the design and so on. So the deal here is that uh, the reason that FileMaker and HTML5 is a good mix in this particular case is because we can um, let the user drag and drop these callouts to the exact pixel uh, location that, they're, that they desire. So for example here, um, I've got this little number one and when I, <clears throat> when I click on the number one, I can drop it into anywhere on the canvas and you'll see that a FileMaker script runs um, that gives me the callout number and its location, left location and uh, top location or XY, uh, XY locations and it tells me which image it, that it's covering. So you see here I can actually make different, uh, change it, move it around. You'll notice I dropped it onto the left hand side and I'm running the script. And now you'll notice over here on the right hand side this is just something for demo purposes only. But this shows that a script is running that's actually creating a record in another table somewhere. Because the idea here is that we would export out all this data uh, so that another application could consume it and know exactly where to plot these things when it prints. So um, a subtle dragging and dropping is assigned to a uh, FMP URL that's running when the users uh, move this little call out around. So this is something that works uh, not only on the desktop but on iOS as well. And here, when I show you the resources, we've quote unquote localized this again. So we've got everything from the uh, JavaScript that's referenced. Actually, this is it right here. This is the JavaScript that you see referenced. And uh, we're using the XML image reference. So when the user picks one of the images that they want to have show up in the canvas, we just uh, link to that uh, exact container or the record that stores that image in a container. We've got um, an area where we can manage the location of the different images or their starting points. And then down here is where we're running, um, here's the name of the database, and then here's the name of the script that we're running that shows the uh, position. And what I'm doing is I'm setting variables. So I've got a variable that shows the left position, the right position, and tells me which image that it's covering. So all that we're just writing into some JavaScript and we basically use JavaScript that already existed um, and copied and pasted some stuff in there and we could even in the case of some of the images use base64 encoding uh, just an example of some of that here so um, another example of uh, integrating web viewers with HTML5 and JavaScript into your existing FileMaker layouts and providing functionality that FileMaker alone cannot offer